Hi everyone, it's Margaret with Creative Stamping with Margaret. Today's project is one of the projects from the monthly to-go kit. This month's kit was featuring the Hello Harvest bundle, so rightfully so, the kit was called the Hello Harvest uh, kit. In the kit, you receive the materials to make four cards, this card is called the Hello Fun Fold card, so when you pull your kit out, um, if you'll look for the tag that says um, Hello Fun Fold, that's the particular kit for this card. We'll be going through the materials in that in just a moment. But as I said, we are using the Hello Harvest bundle. You can find that in the July through December 2022 mini catalog. It's on page 48 and 49. So let me set that to the side and we'll go over the other items that we're going to need. So if you'll pull your kit out, you will find your pre-scored Daffodil Delight for your base. You'll have a strip of basic white for stamping your images on. You will also have a piece of the designer series paper. This is the Rustic Harvest designer series paper. And it is part of the Rustic Harvest suite, which includes the Hello Harvest bundle. You'll also have another piece of basic white, and that's for the interior of the card. You'll have your envelope. You will have a small piece of mossy meadow cardstock. That's to cut your vine with. And please do not discard this if this is the first card that you're doing. You will be using this mossy meadow cardstock on other projects for cutting vines as well. You'll also have a strip of your basic black. And that's what we'll be um, embossing the sentiment on for our card. And then we have a small plastic envelope with the linen thread and the amber gems. That's, so we can set our envelope aside. We can pull some of these off to the side for just a moment. One thing about this card is this fun fold is the book fold card, which typically you see the book fold opens from right to left. I decided to flip it and have it open from bottom to top. So I hope you enjoy this variation on this card. The stamps that you're going to need out of the stamp set are the Hello, the Large Pumpkin. You'll also need the Floral Spray as well as the small uh, sunflower. The dies that we will be using are the, uh, is the coordinating die that goes with the floral spray. The sunflower, you'll need one, just one of the vines to cut. And then of course, the large pumpkin that coordinates. Other items that you're going to need, you'll need Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. You're, you're going to need your Bursamark, your white embossing powder. You'll also need your heat tool, so make sure you have that available. And then for coloring, we're going to need some blends. And the blends that I'm using are the dark, the suede, soft suede combo pack. I'm using the light mossy meadow. We are using the light pumpkin pie, the daffodil delight blends combo pack. I'm using the dark balmy blue, and then I'm using the light real, real red. You don't have to use these colors. You can select whatever blends colors that you would like to color your flowers with. But I decided to um, use more traditional color for the sunflowers and then um, colored the 
other flowers with the red and blue. And you could substitute another green uh, if you prefer. But these are the colors that I'm that I used on this card and that I'll be demonstrating. So the first thing we can do is let's assemble our card base. So if you'll pull in your Daffodil Delight, you will notice that it has been scored in two different locations. So the first one, you want to go ahead and score that in half. Fold, let me grab my bone folder. You'll fold that in half and crease along that line. And then what I like to do is go ahead and fold that book fold back. That way, it just helps when we go to put the adhesive on there. So now we're going to put glue along this section to glue this shut. And you can use whatever favorite adhesive that you have. I like to press that down to make sure that we have good adhesion. And now you're going to notice that this needs to, you need to rotate this to make sure that you place it correctly on the front because one side is a little bit longer than the other and the same for the interior panel. So for this, we just go ahead and add this to the front of our card on the lower portion below that fold, below the top fold. So we can set that to the side and let's do some stamping. So if you'll pull in your white, and you will notice that I have left my pumpkin in white. I decided not to color that. Obviously, you, it's your card. If you decide you want to color it, do so. But I wanted uh, the white pumpkin because I, I'm going with the background of black and white. So I wanted to keep my pumpkin white and black with the, just black ink. So let's ink up our pumpkin. Next, you'll want to ink up your flowers, and there again we're using the Memento black ink since we are using blends. Next, you need the small sunflower, and you're going to need to stamp three of these, one for the top and two for the bottom. Well, that did not do so well. There we go. Now, on the interior of the card, you can also, on your interior panel, while we have this out, you can stamp a few. And on, on my sample card, you will see here, I have stamped five. I'm not going to do that many on this. You can do as many or as few as you want. But I had made a little boo-boo, so I used my stamp to cover that and color it, and you would never know that unless I told you. 
So I'm going to, for this interior, I'm going to do one up in the corner. And then I'm gonna do two down at the bottom. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I did on that other card. So we are through with our Memento Black ink. So now it's time to do some coloring. As I said, we don't need to color the pumpkin for this particular card. Let's start by coloring our leaves first. That's what I'm going to go with since there's no shading on that. And I like to use the fine tip in. And because they are so small, that's why I, the leaves, I opted not to do any particular shading on those. I wanted the focus to be more on those sunflowers. So that's why I am just using one color. Obviously, if you want to add the shading and get fancier with it, please feel free to do so. So I'm just taking my lot, my um, white mossy meadow, and just going in each of the little leaves and coloring them. This is a leaf tucked back there, not, not, um, or at least I used it as a leaf. You could also color it as the part of the flower, but I thought it looked more like a leaf. So we have finished with our green. So let's go ahead and just do the blue flowers and this is our dark balmy blue and it's basically just coloring in the center of those little puffy flowers and I'm using light real red and that's for the other two flowers As I said at the beginning, you can select any color that you want to color your flowers. These are the colors that I chose. So now let's start with the sunflowers. So the first color that I like to start with on this is the Dark Daffodil Delight, and I'm using the uh, nib tip, not the brush tip. And I'm just going over from the center, where the center of the flower, where they've got the lines that come out. I'm just going over those with the dark Daffodil Delight, and I'm doing that on all of the sunflowers. And I'm going to do the same on my panel for the interior. You can work quickly with this. Next, I'm coming in with my light Daffodil Delight. And since I've got a bigger area to color, I'm using the brush in. Now you may feel more comfortable with the nib in or the pen in. 
let it pinpoint in. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to do the small ones that that we cut out. So we'll go back and do those three. I'll grab the wrong end, but it's just a small section, so it should be okay. Move a little quicker here. So color those with, start with the dark and then come back and pull that to blend with the light. Then to bring in that little darker sort of orange, oranges color that you see on some, some flowers, I'm using the light pumpkin pie and I'm just going to go over part of that area where I went with the dark daffodil delight and see how that just pulls and blends blends in with that yellow so it gives us or it, it gives us that orangey color that I associate with sunflowers. Although I didn't know that there were so many different colors of sunflowers. A friend of mine we were visiting recently and she was showing me pictures of some sunflowers that she had in her backyard this year that were like a purplish color. They were just gorgeous. Remind me of the rich razzleberry color. It's funny how you see things and start thinking of stamping up colors, but they were just gorgeous. But notice how just that little touch of light pumpkin pie color just brings out, sort of makes those Sunflowers pop. Now to color the center, I'm starting with the dark soft suede and I'm using that nib end and I'm just doing a few little dots like right over where the black where I stamped not doing all of them, but just a couple of them. And I do that on the center of all the sunflowers. Next, I'm coming in with the light. soft suede and just coloring blending those two colors the light and the dark
So now we're through with our blends. You can put those off to the side. Then the next step would be to go ahead and to die cut. And to get ahead of the game, I have already done that, but I do just want to point out a couple things. This, see how these dies lay perfectly and match up on these. Now, of course, there's only one die for your little individual sunflowers, so you'll have to take the time to cut each one of those individual. But that's what you would do, is lay those down and cut those out. To save time, I think you've all, or the majority of folks, know how to use their, their die cutting machine. So I have pre-cut the sunflowers, the vine, as well as my pumpkin. So we can as start assembling those on the front of the card. So the first thing to do is first I'm going to add this little vine to the front of my pumpkin and just bring it right down, right down the pumpkin. And then I have used dimensionals to lift these flowers on the top of the pumpkin. And I just need to make sure where they go. Actually, I think it's a little easier instead of adding it to the to the flowers is to add it to the pumpkin and then we'll place those. And then when we place the entire piece on, we can add a couple more. So let's just place those. So we'll add dimensionals to the back of our large pumpkin to add that to the front of our card. And as you see, I like to use dimensionals. I don't want to go through all the trouble to make a card and then have it fall apart on me, so I like to use a lot of the dimensionals. And then we're just going to use glue dot to place two of these on the edge of the pumpkin. And I'm saving one with the glue dot for our label that we'll be putting on there. And just overlap. Let's set that to the side. Now we need to pull in our Versamark. And I'm not sure if you have seen um, the embossing toolkit. That's on page 49. So it's listed in this section in the catalog, the mini catalog. But this is the new uh, embossing editions toolkit that's stamping up released so it has uh, all of the items that you need your embossing buddy it also has a nice set of, of tweezers to hold when you're embossing a brush and then the the tray for catching things in so for this you're going to pull in your strip of black and you'll need your hello stamp First thing, let's remove any static that may be on with the embossing buddy. Pull out your Versamark ink. And let's ink up your 
stamp set and then stamp it approximately in the middle. And then I have my white embossing powder. I found these little spoons and these little trays or this little uh, container is great. I have about 15 of them, all with different embossing powders. And of course, I have to make sure that that is closed and out of the way. And then, see, this is where this is great. And then we just take our heat tool and we'll want to turn that on. I do see a few flecks. That's what's nice about this little brush. It helps get rid of any flecks. And then we turn this on and we'll heat this to heat emboss this. So we have a nice sentiment to go on our card. And as you notice, when I'm heat embossing, I keep the heat moving, or my heat tool moving. I don't want to scorch the paper. And I'll lift that up if you can see how the color changes. You can really see how that changes. So we don't want to scorch that. And I'll just go around till I see all parts are done. But I tell you, this little tweezer is great. It holds on, holds on to that, and uh, keeps me from burning my finger. So because this is still hot, I'm going to set that to the side. I have another that I did as well. So we'll go ahead and just add that to our card front. There again, use whatever favorite adhesive you like. And then you'll want to match this up so that the sides are pretty even with the designer paper. And then that will embellish that with our sunflower. And now we'll pull in the gems and our twine. And if you didn't want to put the gems, you could do another sunflower, put it off to the side. But I decided just to bring the gems in on this side to make it a little bit different, to add a little bit of glimmer. And then we just do our bow out of the linen thread to tuck in right by our flowers. And I gave you enough thread that if you wanted, you could do a double bow or just keep it single. I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm just going to roll that up a little. See how I've, I took my finger and just pushed it into a roll. Then I place the knot of my bow on it and lift that off. And then we'll just tuck that right there where those meet. So now we've completed the front of our card. The next thing is just to add the interior panel. We'll glue that in. And we've completed our card. And if you want, you can stamp 
the corner of your envelope with one or two or three of these little sunflowers and then just color those up. That always is a nice touch. Feel the embossing powder. I still got it all over. Put there. So now we have completed our Hello card, Hello Fun Fold card from our monthly kit to go. Hope you've enjoyed this video.